Hello everyone and welcome to my new WordPress development course. This video is specifically where to begin. So you have came to the conclusion that you want to become a WordPress developer. This course is going to aim at teaching you the fundamentals that are necessary in beginning your journey into WordPress development. So this lesson, where to begin, teaches you something I wished I would have known from the get-go. If you're like me, then you might have came across WordPress after creating your first website. With me, I purchased a hosting provider, I bought my domain, then I pointed the domain to the host, and the hosting provider had WordPress available for me to install. So for years, I believed that in order to have a WordPress site, I had to purchase a domain, point it to my host, and install WordPress. It wasn't until much later that I realized that WordPress is free and we can install it locally and have as many WordPress websites as we want running locally on our machine. What I mean by locally is your physical computer you have in front of you versus being on a server somewhere else hosted outside of your local computer. So what we're going to learn in this lesson is how to install a WordPress local environment. To have WordPress, you need to first install WordPress, install a server, and a database. So there are different ways you can install WordPress locally. Some of those include downloading those three things separately. But now, 2022, the future, we have something beautiful called Local by Flywheel. So we're going to go ahead and install WordPress locally and begin our journey into WordPress development. So from your desktop, go to your browser. From your browser, just look for local by flywheel. We then click the first link here, localwp.com, download. I choose Mac. Download. Go ahead and open it once it's ready. So yours might look a little different on Windows or Linux or other systems, but for me on the Mac, we just install drag into our applications folder and let me minimize all this get rid of the installation but i should be able to now search for it open it so once yours is installed just go ahead and open it go ahead and go through all the initial agreements it'll ask you to create your account which you're free to do if you so choose. Once you're through the setup process, you'll be here. So let's go ahead and create our first local WordPress site. So once you complete the setup process, you'll be taken here or you can go ahead and click create a new site. We're going to create a new site, which will spin up a new WordPress or headless WordPress site. Let's go ahead and continue your site's name. I'll make up a name of Uni University. Go ahead and click continue. Environment preferred. We are going to do PHP 7.4, a web server of Nginx, and for database, MySQL version 8.0.16. Yours might be different than this if you're in the future, but go ahead and hit continue. Add a username and password, and then just add site. And just like that, Local by Flywheel is creating our WordPress site locally. So as you can see, that didn't take too long. And we know it's running because here we do see a stop site, which means site was started. If we go ahead and open site, we should be able to see fresh installation of WordPress. And we are able to visit the back end of our WordPress site. And we could log in using our username and password. And just like that, we have a fresh installation of WordPress locally on our computer. And then once we're done for the day and we no longer are going to work on the site, we could stop the server. If we try to open site, nothing will show. Well, it won't let us, right? It automatically started. But if I was to minimize this, stop it. Go back over here and I try to go back there. The server is no longer running and therefore we cannot access it. So again, this is going to be the first video in a series of teaching you 
WordPress development. In the next videos, we'll be taking a look at the PHP language. And after that, we'll learn that creating a theme in WordPress, since one of the first things you do when you download WordPress is pick a theme, which usually is done in appearance themes. So we're going to learn how to do one manually so that we have more flexibility as far as how we want our site designed. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next lessons.